What's up, guys? It's me, your girl, Free Spiritist. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing great because I'm doing fabulous. Y'all, I'm back again with another mukbang for you guys. Today's mukbang, y'all. I did a little bit of light, uh, kind of like a uh, street food edition, West African style. I tweaked it a little bit, added a little spice to it. So I basically just kind of did some foods that typically you could get on the streets um, in Nigeria. And that can be cheap, reasonable eats and filling and delicious. So today's menu, I have a fried red snapper, a whole red snapper, y'all. And I have some African yam, white yam that I fried. Um, some plantain that I fried and let get a little too a little deeper than I wanted, but it's still deliciously caramelized. And then I have my fried corn, which is the tweaking. Over here, I have some sauce, y'all. This is like a, it's a otazi with palm oil, onions, and pepper. And so this is sauce. I will be dipping um, the fried yam in and the plantains and, you know, the fish too. It has like a savory type of like zesty spicy a little bit of bitterness that it adds and flavor and it's also very medicinal so and usually you can put it on fried yam or roasted yam or roasted plantain or um fried plantain and most times when people cook it they cook it in a stew form so I am ready because I don't want my food to get cold, y'all. I'm going to do the pan. We're going to bless food, and then we're going to get to chopping. So let's get it, y'all. All right, let's say grace. Creator blesses food and bless the hands that made it. Let's eat, y'all, short and sweet. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I hope you guys are doing fabulous because i'm doing great i am ready to eat y'all you know i have been talking for most of the day so i'm kind of tired <laughs> tired to chat y'all so here we go y'all we got some nice green spicy palm oil on top of this fried yam y'all let's get this bite mmm mmm Mm. <clears throat> the yam any how you make yam it's always like very thick and starchy even when you fry it boil it roast it and so this palm oil I know that's it cuts through the thickness of the yam. See how thick it is? And it's kind of like a potato, but a very thick, thick potato. Mmm. Another way, or another sauce, is just like a very spicy tomato-based stew type of spicy pepper sauce. Mmm. It's so good. Wait. Hot fried yam. So what's up, y'all? How is your weekend going? It's the weekend! And look at my fish, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all should take a bite. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Take a bite. Take a bite. All right. You're done. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 Okay. There's so much flavor. There's so much flavor in Red Snapper. Mm. 
y'all. Fish is really just something to be really enjoyed because that's my regular experience. It's like a whole nother experience, y'all. And my taste buds have been opened up to a variety of fish. And so now, I'm just excited to try all these different pescatarian recipes, you know? I didn't used to be like, <clears throat> you know, into fish like that. I mean, I liked fish, but I wasn't like, um, all the time. I always loved smoked fish. Mmm, back home. When I say back home, I'm talking about Nigeria. I got to experience so many types of ways that fish was prepared. Oh, one of my favorites is smoked fish. Ooh. Ah, oh, man, smoked fish. Oh. Smoked mackerel. Mm. I'm certainly trying to fish. That that's just the best way to enjoy them. I remember some of my Mom, sisters used to hang the fish in like these baskets over the outdoor kitchen. It's like clay stove. So the smoke would kind of seep into the fish. And that smoky flavor would be in the fish and they would use that fish to cook soup. It would be so amazing. Mm. I had so many amazing experiences growing up in West Africa and Nigeria. So different. Such a different um, life. And being an adult now and thinking back, I definitely enjoyed it. My life in Nigeria more. It was more organic. You know? And natural. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't perfect by a long shot, but it was an experience of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm so excited, y'all. I cannot wait. I can't wait to show you guys. <laughs> it's going to be so awesome, y'all. I cannot wait. Y'all. Please excuse any background noise y'all hear. It's the weekend. You know how it is. Mm. Family's home. Everybody's running around their own agenda, you know? <laughs> mm. 
Oh my goodness. But yeah, y'all. Growing up in Nigeria is an experience that I'm so grateful that I had. Mm -hmm. Made me very independent. And I learned a lot about my culture and my heritage and who I am. And the people that I come from. I'm coming from big family. My mom's family, you know, she has a big family, six siblings and all of them have um, quite a few children. So most of my cousins were like coming from big families like You'd have like 10, 9, 13 people. So I was always used to being around people. And that's why I love being connected. I love meeting and experiencing different types of people and characters, you know? I guess the drama of life is so intriguing to me and experiencing it is a, a wonderful privilege, you know? Y'all, I got me a crunchy piece. Mm -hmm. The fish has like a very distinct flavor. And I didn't do much seasoning, just salt. And a dash of pepper. There's so much flavor. And you know, typically in Nigeria, fried fish is, is a common street food that you will see, especially fried like this, hard. <clears throat> and you see people eating fried fish like this with beer or, you know, palm wine. Then fried yum is a quick street food if you're on the go and you need some energy because it's high in carbs. Pair it with a spicy soup, palm oil with this kind of bitter leaf. What's that? Is? Fills you up and gives you a boost of energy. And plantain is the same thing. You can and this it can either be fried or roasted. I love the roasted one. It's a little bit more um starchier when it's roasted. But when it's drenched in palm oil, oh my god. Amazing. Mmm. -hmm. 
plantain, the same thing. Roasted plantain, drenched in palm oil. Mm. Experience. There's nothing like eating organic food, you know, like the fish is caught the same day, fried, you know, fresh from the farm to your mouth, you know, it's really nice. They're bringing the yam from the yam barn. Plantain, they just caught down. It just makes it so much more worth it, you know? And you don't necessarily have to cook all the time. Because you are patronizing, everybody in the community has something that they have to offer, especially when it comes to eating, I uh, like food. Mm. There's always somebody selling something. Always somebody selling something. You can't be hungry. And if you're not finding food to buy, you will see food growing around you to eat. That's how it is. I'm just remembering Niger. <laughs> I'm channeling them today. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Down to the bone. I want to get the eyeball. Uh oh. I don't know. I'm obsessed with fish eyeballs, y'all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. What y'all getting into this weekend because me? I have a couple of things I want to do. But most of all, I want to have fun. <laughs> I can get out. And enjoy the cooler weather, y'all. The weather has cooled down. I'm just like, ah. Uh. So I'm ready to get out, like, during the daytime, you know what I'm saying? Get out on the streets. Have some fun. So y'all comment down below what y'all gonna be getting into this weekend. I am done, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Probably gonna eat this corn tomorrow. Ooh, but the fish, I ate that fish. The fish was good. Fish was good. Now these exotic fish that I've been eating lately, they've been so good. And I like the fact that like, mm, I could lightly bread it. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Hands off. <laughs> but y'all. Wait a minute. There's one more piece right here. Oh, it's a crunchy piece. Mmm. Mmm. I'm crunchy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. the crunchy piece. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. That was a good one. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, y'all. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to this weekend, getting out, having a great, like, fun weekend now that the weather's cool. You know, fall, I get to wear my hoodie. Mm. What are you guys getting into? Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. <gasps> oh my goodness. I didn't even do the shout outs. Shame on me, y'all. Because I was so greedy today. I just jumped in because I was ready to eat, y'all. The street food was calling my name. It was just like, come now, come now. I told you. Like, y'all love street food. Y'all saw how I just tore that up bit by bit. You see, that's what I get. Too much street food. Too much street food. That's what it is. All right, y'all. So shout outs go to MRTV49, Daniel Egadrew 8501. And then we have Ele LBT, Electric Dino Online. Jair Clark 477. Thank you guys so much for your comments. I appreciate them. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the love. For the next five commenters are on this mukbang video, I'm going to shout you guys out on the next mukbang video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And for those who are here new today, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome to the tribe. We are basically out here eating some good food, enjoying some a nice uh, exchange of recipes and uh, food ideas, you know, like chit chat, you know, story time. And we are about to take a huge trip, you know, across um, <clears throat> to the continent of Africa very, very soon. So if you would like to join us because, you know, you are totally welcome to subscribe. It's absolutely free to you. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, post notification bell next to it, hit all so that every time when I uh, publish a video, you'll be notified or when we publish a video, you'll be notified. Yes, there's absolutely a we. Thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate you guys taking the time out to have this meal with me and listen to me and just talk and kind of like, you know, enjoy this meal. You guys take care of yourselves. Please be safe. Be safe in the streets. Love yourselves. Love one another. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all.